Namaste everybody. Thank you for joining. As I posted on Instagram, today we're making a oil lamp for peace and it is going to be dedicated to the Orisha Obatala so we can have some peace, especially now for the holidays. You have a lot of anxious and just craziness going on for Black Friday and Cyber Monday and even for Thanksgiving, which is actually tomorrow. So happy Thanksgiving to each and every one of you. This um, is an oil lamp. It's using some basic uh, ingredients and some not so basic. So we're going to be using um, a coconut, which I opened up, as you can see. I made a bottom so it can lay flat. I'm using Vencedor Hydrosol, which is something to win and conquer. And I think we need to win at peace. We need to win for that serenity, which the Orisho Batala is so famous for. Uh, one of the other ingredients we're using, which is a secret of Obatala, is a key. And the key is the key to success, is the key that unlocks all doors. Very similar to a legua. If you guys have issues, you should get them a key. One of the other ingredients we're using, which is always mandatory for those who are um, initiates into Orisha and Ifa, is using a red feather of the African gray because Olofi's attention will always go to where this le uh, excuse me this feather is at. I'm also using some jasmine hydrosol which I had extracted and it has a beautiful fragrance. If you guys ask me for it, unfortunately I will not be making this again. Um, not for a very long time. It's a huge intense process which I kind of learned the hard way. But that's that's being said, I'm using uh, cotton. I also have a piece of bread for Obatala, which is an offering that's given to Obatala, as well as like rice pudding, uh, white rice. Everything for Obatala is in white, except red palm oil, which is his favorite drink. But I don't recommend you guys offer Obatala liquor. Um, I have my compass always uh, readily, readily available um, because the cardinal points is something that's forgotten in magic and I want to always incorporate it into my um, dialogues. We've forgotten for whatever reason, but Ifa still uses the cardinal points. They won't start any magic without the cardinal points and those prayers to them. You don't necessarily need to do this, but you should be aware of your north, south, east, and west uh, positions, especially if you're dealing with magic and you're dealing with energy. This is so simple. Um, you could use, it, use this for multiple purposes, especially if you have someone in the family who's having a lot of problems, um, a lot of turmoil in their life, and they need that peace, or you yourself need that peace in your home. This is a great offering or a great start to move the energy in the flow that you need to. Um, and so let's start building this, this guy up. If you like, I can, you can always email me and I can text you uh, Yoruba prayer. The thing with Yoruba is that it requires for you to use um, the correct pronunciation and tones because some words uh, can mean eight different things. If you put it before one word or after another word, if your tone is not at the right uh, velocity, it changes the, its dynamic. For instance, um, uh, a greeting in Yoruba is kawo. And we always say kawo or, or alafia, and in actuality is kawo, and it requires that uh, vocalization is the right word or emphasis. Um, so let's get started. I'm adding 
my key of success because I want to unlock peace as part of my magic. This is also can be used for different types of magic when you're trying to open roads, open success. Uh, great piece to have if you guys can afford a uh, silver, sterling silver uh, skeleton key, wonderful. If you're dealing with Obatala, you could do silver or you can use white gold. Um, again, if you can afford one or access one. So that's going in there. I've made a, uh, using a cotton pad, I've actually cut it into a strand and um, I've merged it into a nail, which we use for gardening. Um, it's used like to uh, tie down uh, tarps and stuff. And I was like, oh, I can use that, that'd be awesome. So before we do apply this portion, I'm gonna add the hydrosols. You don't need much. The other thing you can do too is you can add a, a piece of prayer, a petition at the bottom of this, um, doing your request. We've added the hydrosols, we've added the key of success, and now we're gonna add some uh, coconut oil. I warmed it up so it's more uh, liquid. You could also use another oil that I use, or grease, um, is shea butter versus cocoa butter. Although our uh, traditions use cocoa butter, the real butter that was used in Africa tradition is shea butter. Cocoa butter is a byproduct of the plant or the fruit cacao, which was introduced after the colonization and the explorers coming into the Americas. And we didn't have uh, access to shea butter through that transition until uh, the famous um, transition of Monserrate, which traveled back to Africa to obtain um, the secrets of Olokum and etc. And after that, uh, slavery had been abolished, people started traveling back to the motherland and accessing, bringing back orishas, bringing back uh, herbs, bringing back uh, medicines back from the homeland. And for whatever reason, we've stood with shea butter, uh, cocoa butter, excuse me. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, uh, it's a wonderful um, grease or oil, very holistic. And when they chose that, one, that particular uh, fat, oil, grease, uh, they made a great choice. And I've never heard about Allah decline his foods or services because it's cocoa butter. But traditionally it was shea butter. I'm not adding it today, I'm just adding um, the hydrosols and the uh, coconut oil. I'm also adding some of my essential oils that I've made that have yang ylang, jasmine, and uh, bay rum, which will add some nice fragrance to the whole mix. So as it burns, we'll get a nice uh, fragrance throughout the house. And Owatala will approve. <laughs> you don't need much. You can um, alter it with jasmine oil, uh, jasmine uh, uh, fragrance. You could also, uh, another of his favorite flowers is the... Um, white lilies, and I'm trying to remember if there's another, he has a few of them. Uh, for fragrance, it would be uh, jasmines. I'm trying to remember, there's one more, I just can't pull it out of my head. As you start getting a little older, things... <laughs> yes, I'm, I, I'm admitting to a little bit of 
this function. Um, so now this, uh, the oil and all that stuff is added in. The one thing I didn't add to that was the feather, which I'm just adding at the tip of it. The other uh, important thing is to make sure that the cotton absorbs the oil first and not the water. Because if it touches the water first or gets drenched with the water, it will not light up. And we don't want to do that. If it, if it does occur, just repeat the same process. Get a new cotton and just attach it. There is another video that I have online on the store and on YouTube, which is using um, wine corks and some wood where you can also build another format or mecha as they call them in Spanish. But today I'm using this stuff and I'm just gonna ensure that it stays right at the top, doesn't loosen. Perfect. And all we now need is just a little wick. Make sure I drench that quite well. And one thing I did forget to bring is the lighter. Can't have fire without lighters. Um, so I'm actually going to call my partner in crime and have him bring me a lighter. Let's see if I have, yeah. Marcus? Could you bring me a lighter, please? Uh, while he brings me that, I decided to make a course, so keep an eye out for it, which is using lotus stones. And I've been uh, dealing with a vendor, um, and I just received them today. And these are highly polished lotus, lotus stones. And uh, it is a course which is going to introduce people or those taking the course to working with energy, uh, working with Mother Earth, and possibly I may introduce working with Arisha using the lodestones. Um, so keep an eye out for that video. I'll keep you guys posted through Instagram and on the store. Um, I am still writing it all up because I need to make sure that the information that's going to be dis dispatched um, won't cause harm, won't cause you harm, nor the environment, which I'm quite, uh, oh, this smells so good. Um, I honor my, my land, I honor life, and I don't want to cause a disruption, especially with energy. You disrupt energy on your auric field and your body and your life. Uh, things can get a little wacky and whacked out. And you have to, if that occurs, you have to kind of know how to reground yourself into um, alignment. Uh, you'll hear me use that word a lot, alignment. So thanks to Mr. Mister, he brought me the oil, the lighter. It may take a few minutes um, for the cotton to ignite, but inevitably it does. And just be patient. You kind of have to burn the cotton through. And if this doesn't work, just I'll put a few, there we go. Fabulous. Now, um, because I am an initiate to Orisha, I have uh, the prayers to Obatala, and those I will, um, as I present this offering to Obatala, I will do those enchantments. Um, you can use prayers to uh, the Virgin Mary, um, Our Lady of Mercy, which is another representation of Obatala. I'm a, a big fan of Our Lady of Mercy. Um, it being a female Obatala. Yes, they are male and there are female Obatalas. Um, so you can also dedicate it to um, Christ. You can dedicate it to the Gran Poder. You can also dedicate this to 
uh, la mano poderosa, the, the, the hand you sometimes see in botanica is this uh, hand um, that also you can dedicate it to. You could also kind of use the same format, reroute it for another Orisha. Coconuts you can use with any Orisha, it belongs to all of them. It is a uh, universal uh, fruit for each Orisha, they will all use it. Uh, you can change it up, let's say if it was for Oshun, which I do all the time, I would add uh, different perfumes and different herbs. So depending on what my intentions are. I don't particularly ask for anything as in money or um, et cetera, et cetera. The reason why I don't do that, I focus on peace, I focus on alignment. When you are aligned to your higher self, you're aligned to your purpose, everything else falls in. I don't, I've had a conversation with a few of you and um, it's like, oh, that's money. I'm like, I don't chase money. I chase my bliss. I chase things that make me happy. I chase my purpose. And then everything else from that comes. The money, fame, fortune, whatever you want to um, associate that with. So uh, please, uh, I do recommend if you guys have the opportunity, especially now for the holidays, is make these offerings to the Orishas, make these offerings to Egum, uh, your ancestors, so we can get this energy moving. There's too much hate, too much violence. It, it's just so deplorable. It makes me question humanity. It makes me think how far the, the Neanderthal, as science calls them, evolve into what we are so if we did evolve and we are growing and we are being spiritual why so much hatred and anger and and bickering it's just it needs to stop and if lighting a, a lamp to my ancestors and my guides makes that one uh, tone of frequency to elevate humanity then i'll do that and I think I uh, pretty much summed it up, and I fare you well, fare you a wonderful holiday, wonderful Thanksgiving, and that the greatest good may always come. Namaste. Pramashanama.